Hello, Packers Nation. We prepare for another Packers game this week. This time on Thanksgiving. It's been a while since the Packers have played on Thanksgiving. This time, of course, playing the Lions again. Who do the Packers play on Thanksgiving other than the Lions? It's nobody. And a rivalry renewed again, although the Lions have beaten them the last four times, and it's been a very depressing matter for that reason. But maybe, just maybe, the Packers can pull off the upset this week. The Lions have been great this year, only having two losses on the season, eight and two. They've been a fantastic team all the way through. But the Packers are coming off a win. Maybe they have a little bit of confidence going into this week. And they'll definitely have to be prepared because it's going to be a barn burner for sure. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and let's get into it. Of course, we started with Aaron Jones being hurt this past Sunday, and the chance of him playing this week are not very good, to be honest. Let's be real. We really do not expect to see Aaron Jones ready to go this week. It'll probably be A.J. Dillon and maybe whoever the Packers sign as the backup, but it's going to be a tall order because that front seven for the Detroit Lions is ferocious and they like to get at the quarterback a lot so the Packers offensive line will need to be great they were better this past week against the Chargers we along a couple of sacks that were kind of on love to be honest but <clears throat> that front seven is ferocious and they're going to get after Jordan Love all day so Jordan Love will have to be decisive he had a good game this past week not a great game but he had one of his better games of the year and let's give him props for when he does well. Let's not keep hating on Jordan Love because he's obviously not going to be not the starting quarterback for the Packers. If he's going to be the starting quarterback for the Packers this year, Sean Clifford is not going to be the starting quarterback. If the Packers thought Sean Clifford could honestly be the starting quarterback, he would have gotten more reps in practice, which he hasn't had a lot of with the first team. It's going to be Jordan Love. Might as well make the best of him. I still think he can be the guy... And that doesn't mean he needs to be the, one of the best quarterbacks all the time. He just needs to be serviceable, above average. Because with the team built around him, the Packers should be able to do good things with an above average quarterback. How, of course, the receiving core is very young, and they're learning every week, but still dropping a lot of balls. It would be nice. Maybe next year the Packers can bring in a veteran presence, show the young guys the ropes, because to be honest, they really need it. Although there were some great plays this week, there were a lot of drops as well. Packers are going to need to cut down on the drops. And, like I said, the offensive line was better this week. Didn't have any offsides in the offensive line. Kept the holding to a minimum. A couple of false starts here and there, but those can be worked on, of course. I still think the Packers coaching staff isn't great, but like I said before, with Jordan Love, Matt LaFord is going to be the starting quarterback for the Packers or starting coach for the head coach for the Packers going forward until things change. Um, probably don't expect them to change maybe until Mark Murphy is pushed into retirement after next season. But let's make the most of what we have this year. And like I said, this week is going to be hard. It's going to be really hard for the Packers to pull up to win. Maybe, just maybe, all I expect is to make it close, but also maybe, just maybe, with the Lions coming off the comeback win, coming in cocky, maybe a little boastful, of course, and maybe, just maybe, the Packers can upset them and start a new tradition where the Lions are the good team in the division and the Packers are the ones that won on Thanksgiving. Maybe a long, foregone hope, but maybe, just maybe, it'll happen. Now, the Lions, like I said, their offense is ferocious. So many targets to throw to Jameson Williams, Amon Ross St. Brown, Sam Laporta. The list abounds, and they have great rushing, running game, and David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs, both two great running backs who both can catch out of the backfield and have be really dangerous out there. And that offensive line is one of the best in the league. They're great at blocking, really good at it. They're just a strongly built team through and through, and their defense is no, no snuffs either. Their front seven is great. They have a good secondary with them bringing players back, and they have a coach that they're willing to fight and die for And Dan Campbell. The Packers need a coach like that. I mean, there's not a lot of coaches like that out there, but 
the Packers are going to have an ex coach. I hope they have someone like Dan Campbell because the Packers need a kick in the butt at times because I still think the coaching play calling is not great at times. It's downright terrible. And Packers need that kind of presence in the locker room. They just need veteran presence in general. They could use some veterans on the team. Their team is so young. So it's hard to really expect them to be or great all the time when there's so few veterans on this roster. One of the young, probably the youngest team in the league. It's hard. You need. There's one thing to learn from game experience. It's another thing to have that veteran presence in there when things are going tough and things are going wrong to right the ship. And the Packers just don't have a lot of that. It'd be nice in the future if they can get some of that, but I won't be till next year. But Packers have shown signs of improvement on a week-to-week basis, especially Jordan Love. He's still not the greatest by any means, but either quarterback would support him. And I think he can play well this week. He's just going to have to cut down on mistakes. Didn't have any interceptions last week against the Chargers, so maybe, just maybe, he can avoid throwing interception in this game. The Packers are going to win. He's going to have to avoid throwing those errant interceptions that just seemingly go nowhere but the defense not really anybody around also they just need wide receivers that are willing to go and fight for that ball maybe cause their pass interference i've mentioned this before there's just not a lot of fight in times in the in the receivers that the packers have maybe it'll improve in the future but definitely going to have to against a team like the lions the lions are a great team from top to bottom they're built well they're primed for a potential Super Bowl run this year and they just look great and the Packers while they've won a few games here and there still are far from great but maybe just maybe maybe just maybe they continue this recent hot streak that they've been on maybe they can win a couple more games maybe they can just get on the outskirts of the playoffs or maybe even get that last playoff spot even though to be honest the seventh seed the NFC and the AFC is terrible. Honestly, it should be removed, but of course, you know, the NFL is never going to give up on that revenue. We're going to give up on those games now that they have them. But the Packers this week, let's see. The final score, I think, will be, I think the Lions will win. But maybe, just maybe, Packers can win. I mean, the last time times I picked against the Packers, they've, uh, they've won. So maybe... That can be that trend can continue. I think the Lions win 28 to 21, something like that. Lions are still going to be able to score a lot, and if the Packers are going to stand any chance, they're going to have to keep those points under control, keep Jared Goff under wraps, and that running game needs to be contained at least somewhat because that running game is great. Two great backs who can both do it all. And a great offense line to keep the Packers defense at bay. Lions win 28-21. to But maybe, just maybe, things can turn out differently. I think the Packers do have a good chance to win. Just, just because I'm a Packers fan. And I have to hope for the best. I'm not going to hope my team loses. Because that's just what bad teams do. Hope their team loses. Hope their team... Well, I guess no one really does that. But some fan bases just want to tank 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 thinking that getting the best player will make their team go even though this is a team sport and one player is not going to make the difference overall maybe in the future once they get better they can but it's a team sport and there can be more gain from a tough loss that's close than a bad loss where you're going to end up being the first pick in the draft with still many numerous holes that one player is not going to be able to fill all at once. But let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of the Packers' chances of winning. Let me know what you think the outcome will be. And most importantly, have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. God bless, and go Pack Go!